Welcome to YoungHollywood.com. What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood and today we are crashing the pad of Entourage's sexy studio exec, Dana Gordon, or as her friends know her as Constance Zimmer. Let's see what she's like when she's not giving Ari Gold a hard time. You're like, I'm just gonna walk into this door. Oh, hi. We're officially crashing your pad. I, all right, I love it. Welcome to my pad. You wanna show us around? I guess so. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Okay, come on. So this is, uh, I guess, you know, what we would call our TV family room. Um, cross into here, and this would be now our like fireplace dining. This is the next, the next part of the house. What I love is that you can honestly see the three rooms in one shot. That's how small this house is. So then walk, and honestly, just turn your head, because now you're in the kitchen. <laughs> The kitchen is all like from the original. The house is from I think 1949. Older than us, I believe. Yes, much older. much older. But this is kind of what really sold us on the house was that this view and just the view in general. All right, so we're crashing your pad now, and it's about quarter after five in the evening. Uh huh. What goes down in this house that time? Uh, it's when we tend to like to make cocktails. <laughs> Yeah, so what you do is you can do anything. So I, like, we like to do strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, cucumbers, mint, a little bit of lemon. Put it all in this cup. All of it. I'm gonna do a squeeze of lemon. All right, so now what you do is you're gonna put in one ounce of the Pims. Not Pim, Pims. Yeah, one ounce of the Pims, just so you have something to actually muddle. And then you just pray that it tastes good. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, man. So, and then this is what we do. We just go downstairs. We go downstairs on our deck if you want to, well, if you want to join me. And then maybe that's where my daughter might put on a show. I don't know. <laughs> so, we go back about seven, eight years. I've known you. Yeah. Yeah. Since Good Morning Miami. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Compare those days to now. Well, you know, I think I always just hoped that I would work as an actor, and I think the other stuff, you kind of always just believe that it's gonna happen. So if you weren't acting, I mean, you're on a hit show now. I mean, God bless you, it's awesome, right? It's great, it's been like the greatest job in the world. It's like, I've been on it for five years, and I think the amount of episodes I've done actually only equals one season. <laughs> so it's like, it's pretty fantastic. So tell me about your audition for Dana. I was auditioning for it and, and I didn't really want to audition for it and everybody around me, agents and managers, they all said, you know, this is the hottest show on television, you really need to audition for it and I said, okay, fine. So I, I feel like I kind of went into the room with maybe a sense of aloofness and they probably were like, why does she not care about our show? And the part was so small, it was like you had to audition with one line, which was like on the phone. I said, really, do you really want me to do this scene? Like it's one line on the phone. And I think they all kind of looked at me and thought, wow, this girl has an ego. And I'm sure that, you know, now when you see Dana, you realize that that is kind of very much a part of what she is. So I'm not saying that I personally am a bitch at all. That's not what I'm saying. All right, so Young Hollywood came, crashed your pad. Yes. But I gotta say, the epitome of Young <laughs> Hollywood. Can you point to me? This is Young Hollywood right here. I'm gonna give her a cue. Ready? Young Hollywood. <laughs> Say thank you, Young Hollywood. Thank you, Young Hollywood. <laughs> Wait, Coco's. Turn around and then say good night, Young Hollywood. Say thanks for coming. <laughs>